Sports with Mike Fenner. Welcome on in. It's time for Sports Otters home for first place Windsor as we hit the ground running here on the ice, as Billy Joel once said. Former Spitfire Kyle Downey in goal for Erie against his former team tonight. Erie trailing 3-1 to one in the second. Brett Brissett, less than two minutes into the period, stays with it, gets rewarded on his sixth goal of the year. A tough play, 3-2. As we move forward here after that special teams power play goal, nearly 15 minutes later, Erie scores three goals in the span of 30 seconds. Here's Caleb Smith with the first, and then after Liam Gilmartin gave the Otters a 4-3 lead, here's Spencer Sova with his fourth of the year, 5-3, good guys. In the third, more from the Otters, Kerry Tarrant to the power play goal, 6-3, Otters, and then Colby Saginaw gets his second of the night and third of the year to make it 7-3 in the third. Otters hand Windsor its first regulation loss all year. Erie with a season high, seven goals in a three goal home win. We believe we're a good hockey team. Um, you know, when we're playing well and everybody's playing, uh, we believe we can beat anybody. I think there's a lot of parity in the league this year. I think we can be right up there with anybody. We will get Mercier's men's college hockey home for Niagara after a shootout loss Friday night. Less than two minutes in, Cade Townend scores for the Lakers here. 1-0 lead for Mercyhurst, and about 12 minutes later, same score, Riley St. Ange, El Capitan, the second goal for the Lakers on the night, but Mercyhurst surrenders the last three goals all in the second period, falling 3-2 on the home ice. Local college football, Corey Curtis and the Golden Knights football team trailing 11th ranked, unbeaten Indiana PA, 22-21 in the third quarter, but Curtis winds up, fires long down the field for Kijan, Baptiste, who does the rest, Go ahead, 55 yard touchdown. Gannon up 28 22. Flex on him, young fella. Next Crimson Hawks drive. Mac Sexton finds Hilton Ridley for a 10 yard strike in the front of the end zone. IUP plus one, 29 28. Late third. Third and goal at the Indiana eight. Curtis finds Donnell Mason for the eight yard touchdown strike. Curtis 342 yards, four TD passes. Golden Knights go up 36-29 with a two-point try successful. Early fourth, Sexton, fourth down, touchdown, ties it on a three-yard score at 36. But just over five to play, tough run, one of two rushing touchdowns for Curtis. He had six scores in all, and the QB won, doing it for Dwayne. Curtis makes it 43-36. How about Gannon's defense coming through late? Reginald Hamlet Jr. picking off Sexton. One last chance for the Crimson Hawks. It's a sack and a strip. And it's a forced fumble that Malik Bridgman comes up with. Gannon's in a three-way tie atop the PSAC West, upsetting previously unbeaten and 11th-ranked IUP 43-36 at McConnell Family Stadium. All the hard work they've been putting in to, you know, be able to get a win against a great program like IUP, you know, hopefully that, uh, you know, that'll that'll just uh, reinforce to them that they're doing the right things and and uh, give them confidence moving forward. Our team is just going to keep on fighting and not going to give up. We're young, but we're we change, we're changing our program around. Ron Armido's Mercier's football team hosting Cal PA. Lakers down 13-0 in the first. Brian also Brooks hits Cameron Barmore for a 59-yard touchdown, cuts it to a one-score game, but the Lakers fall 44-20 on the home field against the Vulcans. Edinburgh home for Seton Hill at Sox Harrison Stadium. Scoreless in the first quarter. Edinburgh strikes first. Keon Anderson, one-yard touchdown run. 6-0 fighting Scots. And the Griffins pick up their first win of the season, topping Edinburgh 45-14 at Sox. Ohio State has won five straight in the series over Penn State. Could the Nittany Lions break the streak at Beaver Stadium today? Penn State quarterback Sean Clifford, quite the polarizing player today. Down 10-7, Keandre Lambert Smith hauls in the second of three touchdowns on the day. 14-13, Penn State on top at the half. Ohio State hit three field goals in this one, leading at 16-14 to start the fourth. But then the turnovers piled up. And how about this? Ohio State running away with it with 28 fourth quarter points to beat Penn State in Happy Valley, 44 to 31. Pitt trailing 42-24 as we take a look at the Plyler Entry System scoreboard as the number 21 North Carolina Tar Heels lead Pitt at last check late in this one. Let's go to the pitch. Pair of District 10 Class A Girls Soccer semifinals today at Dollinger Field. First up, Mercyhurst Prep taking on Cambridge Springs. Scoreless into the final seven minutes of the first half. Mercyhurst Prep scores on a rebound chance. Marielle Schnars with the goal. 1-0 Lakers. Mercyhurst Prep advances to the D10 final behind a 3-1 win at Dollinger Field. Next up. It's Seneca and Gerard at Dollinger Field. First half chance for the Bobcats. Taylor Buncey with a shot on goal. But the Yellow Jackets come up with the stop. Later, it's a corner kick. Well defended as well. 
Seneca goes on to get the only goal in this one, advancing the D10 Class A final against Mercier's Prep on Tuesday, winning it 1-0. The Cathedral Prep girls tennis team fell in the PIAA 2A team uh, semifinals to Sewickley Academy this morning. And some Erie County results for District 10 Cross Country Championships at Titusville. Cathedral Prep wins girls 2A while General McLean qualifies as well. Prep Sarah Clark, the champion there. 2A boys Harbor Creek qualifies as the runner-up. While Preps Luke Brown was a champion individually, the Seneca girls winning Class A girls. Sagertown's Sam Hattrick represents Crawford County as the boys single A champion, not shown there. In sub-regional action, the McDowell boys take first, while Camden Kramer takes first place as well. Just a few things going on today. Yeah, quite and, a busy day. Uh, tomorrow you got Steelers, Eagles, and Philly. Bills in prime time tomorrow night against the Packers as well. All right, Mike.